let us continue with our lesson over here and in this particular lesson let us try to learn about the dependency injection and how we can use it with the river pod over here so let's go to our project over here and let's just go and create the one new folder and let's just call this one as a review SITR or repository over here and let's create the one new file over here that will be of the let's say user underscore repsi tr repository dot d dot file over here and this will be of the a simple class let's just go and create the class of the user repository over here itself and uh, let's just go and create the simple uh, let's just go and add a simple user over here as well and i guess that should be fine over here let's just and close it over here currently we uh, i guess we have the model somewhere over here let's just go to over here which is of the user uh, model over here let's just go and grab this and let's just go and import that and let's just go and make this one i guess we can just go and call this one as a const over here it's a simple uh, class that's going to if we call the fetch user that's going to just return us the some list of the user from here as well right and um I'm using the help of the AI tool over here, which is of the code imam over here to generate all of those, right? So that's pretty cool. So if, if you have to write all of this, it's going to take a lot of time. So taking the help of the AI, uh, you can do it much more faster over here. And once we have this particular, let's say a user repository class, that's going to uh, just a simple method one, which is of the fetch user over here. And we need to pass this or we need to grab this from somewhere else let's say uh, we have the um, one more folder over here let's just go and create the one more folder let's call this one as a use case over here and in this particular uh, use case we are going to have let's say a uh, user underscore the use case over here or i'll just go and call this one as the use case of the fetch fetch and that is the fetch underscore user and dot the dot file over here and let's just go and create the class over here that will be of the fetch user and that's cool and uh, here we are going to um, we are not going to generate in this way so let's say we have um let's just go and close it over here and let's import this uh the user over here and now we have the fetch user class and let's just go and add the final of the let's say a user repository over here and let's go and add it to the constructor of this particular class and let's just go and import this one so now we have the one uh, dependency for this particular fetch user class which is the dependency of the uh, user repository and if you want to be more strict to follow the uh, the clean architecture or the solid principle then you should make use of the interface over here not the concrete class so if you want you can just go and create the interface of this user repository and um, depend on the interface rather than the concrete class that's one of the solid principle and if you want to know more about the solid principle I guess I have some videos in the YouTube or the course in my website as well or in the YouTube as well so you can just go and check out about the solid principle and uh, here um, since we are not uh, worried about the clean architecture and all of the stuff and this class is not regarding that and here we are just going to pass in the concrete class which is of the uh, user repository over here and in the constructor we just um, grab that one right so we need to pass into this particular constructor so once we construct this particular fetch user we need that particular dependency right so we need that particular dependency and from here we, we are just going to uh, await over here and we are going to um, let's say we are going to delay some point over here and then we are going to return that particular fetch user this is also we need to await since that each uh, returning us the future so I just want to delay it for uh, some second, uh, like just uh, stimulating that you are calling the API or the database over here. Let's just uh, do it for a three second, I guess that would be fine. And now you can see that we require now a dependency over here, right? This is the constructor dependency, right? In the constructor, um, we need to pass in that particular dependency uh, or the constructor injection that we usually call in the DI. Now, how do we 
uh, how do we pass that particular dependency using the um, river part over here or the flutter river part so now what we can do is we can actually go and create the provider that's going to provide us this particular class as well and if you go back to the uh, repository over here and we also need to create the provider for this particular user repository that's going to uh, provide us this particular uh, user repository so let's go over here and i'll just go and create the uh, 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 provider manually over here so provi provider let's just go and create the user provider and we need to import the flutter river part over here and the type for this one the return type will be of the concrete class which is of the user repository and then we are going to just construct that and return it from here so now this uh the user repository provider is going to provide us the user repository the instance of the user repository so now uh, let's go back to our face user and uh, here what i can do is i can just go and uh, make use of the same thing so let's say a uh, manual provider a provi idea i'm going to create it manually for now and this is going to be a face user provider and we need to import the our uh, flutter river pod over here and then the written type from this particular provider will be of this class over here and now i need to construct this particular class over here and now you can see that this has the dependency of the user repository since we have already created that uh, somewhere here right so this is the provider so now what i can do is let's just go and final the uh, user uh, repository repository over here and i can just go and grab that particular rep, um, the the user repository with the help of the user repository provider and now you can see this returns as the user repository over here and now i'll just go and copy this and paste it over here that's it so you will see that the face user provider now this has the dependency of the uh, user repository but once we construct this we just need to pass in over here and with the help of the uh, provider itself it's quite easy to pass in the dependency so we just have to create the uh, provider for our the uh, repository class over here that's going to return us the repository over here and in the use case once we require that as a dependency then we just can create that or grab that through the uh, the provider that we have created and then pass into the constructor of our class and now we can easily make use of uh, this one in our notifier class or the view model and here we have the view model this is a, a notifier right so what we can do is if you want to face that particular uh, user so let's go uh, somewhere down over here and then i'll just go and call the future uh f u t u r e future and this is going to be a void and face the user over here and uh, i just don't want to delay it i guess we already have some delay in our service or the use case let me import that particular provider over here so now you can see that ref dot the read and we are going to read that particular uh not the repository itself we need to have the fetch user provider so that is what we need over here and we'll just go and call the fetch users over there so if we go to the uh, let's go to the fetch user and uh, we have this function to call the fetch user so in this way we can separate the uh, in the different layer repository layer or use case layer or uh, like the service layer so you can have a different kind of the layer to separate your business logic and all of the stuff that is uh, following the clean architecture and once we have that now we can just go to our notifier itself and we can just go and read that provider and this is going to return us the list of the user and now we can just go and update it over here as well so now we'll just go back to our let's say the user list screen over here and in the user list screen we are watching that one right so let's just go and call that one in our init state over here so let's just go and make use of the uh, we get binding over here we get binding dot the instance and we'll just call the add uh, post frame callback and we are going to grab that particular fetch user over here 
the power of the AI. You can see it helped me to auto complete much of this stuff over here. I just have to type some stuff over here on it. So let's just go and rerun the application. And uh, now let's just go and rerun it, I guess. Then you can see that we don't see any of the loading state, but after a three second, you will see that we got that one, the list of the user over here. And if you want to go and add some like the loading state and all of the stuff that will be pretty good over here to show the loading state. And I will give you as a homework for that one. And in this lesson, we saw how we can create the dependency injection using the uh, river pod and how it is, how easy it is to do the dependency injection over here. Basically the constructor injection in our repository as well as the use case so i i i had a two class over here one is of the uh, user repository and one is of the fetch user use case over here and here we had some dependency um, basically the uh, user repository in our face user and how we provided it so it's really simple to make use of the uh, follow the clean architecture using the river pond and to do some kind of the dependency injection over here and instead of creating this provider manually what we can also do is we can use the uh, code generator or the river pod generator over here to generate our provider so depending on your requirement you can just go and use the either uh, the manual manual of manual generation of your provider or you can also use the code uh, generator so let's just go and see how we can do that one i'll just go and comment of this one from here and uh, let's just go and add the first of all the part file so don't forget to add the part file and next is we need to add the river pod annotation r-i-v-r-p-o-d river pod over here and let's just go and add the um the fetch user so this is going to return us this particular class the return type over here and we'll just call this one as the fetch user and then okay so i guess that's pretty good so now you can see the ai is helping me to do all of the code generation and here this is the um you need to create a, a function name so like let's say a fetch user is the function name and um then here we will pass in the fetch user ref currently this is giving us an error because we haven't generated that that one and that is of the the ref object over here and the same thing that what we have done over here which is to grab the dependency and then return the fetch user from here and provide that particular dependency over here that the, this part is the same over here only the thing that we have to do is to create something as uh, that's going to return as the fetch user, a function that is basically a function that's going to return as the fetch user over here and we just have to pass in the pram as the fetch user this is what we have fetch user it should be the same fetch user and then the ref over here which is just the type of the ref so you can access the ref over here as well so now what we have to do is we just have to go and uh, generate the uh, the build runner or generate the code so let's go and run the build runner over here and now you will see that the um, the file has been generated for us and you can see it generated the auto dispose provider previously we were just using the provider the auto dispose basically means that it's going to dispose if there is no listener right we have already learned about that one previously so it helped us to generate that provider automatically so we don't have to go and actually uh, create this manually so depending on your requirement if you want to go and make use of the code generator or you can just also go and manually create the provider itself it's it's depend on your requirement and make sure to go and read out the documentation about all of the code generator as well over here and uh, if you go back to the view model and I guess we don't have any of the options I guess I can uh, just remove this one over from here and also remove I guess this is not required over here and now let's try to rerun and let's try to see if it is working as well and we should see the list of the user that's cool so um that's all and i hope we learned something new over here and the most important part was to provide a dependency and how we can do the dependency injection using the uh, flutter river part over here so let's meet up in the next one and until uh, then have a great day